Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video next match. Cross balanced cap, it has been a while, but there, there are reasons for that. But anyway, let's pick this one up again. Next uh, group, of course, group B again. We have the quote-unquote slower decks. Mm, I was about to say more balanced decks, but that's definitely not the case. Next matchup, we have two decks that are currently sitting at three points. And that's first of all, as you see here, uh, Chaos Return, one of the older lists here in this year's Cross Balanced Cup from 2006. A powerhouse, right? A double return from a different dimension. And um, I, for me, this is really old school Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dekachis, uh, Magical Merchant, um, Magician of Fate, and then, you know, the, the aggressive B-Town style featuring Cyber Dragon, the splashable level 5. While on the other hand, we have Umut Seren's list from 2009. Nine, oh, pretty much uh, very similar to Teladad, a similar era. Um, and I know Umut sometimes watches the videos also. And uh, last time I said, um, you know, obviously he won the, and I always say the Faro Tour, but I believe it's the Fortune Tour, right? Um, but again, it would <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong again. Uh, so anyway, uh, first of all, Kale starts off, and I guess this is a, this is a good start for me, uh, being able to use Confiscation and... The thing is though, in the old school days, with this particular hand, um, you weren't really using Graceful Charity. Again, you, you just like in code format, you would rather just want to wait for stuff like Sinister Serpent, you know. Or here having the Sangan maybe for Treeborn Frog and then discard it off of Graceful. Or Unnecessary Tribute Father or Light and Dark. But here I was like, mm, I don't feel any urgency to use Graceful Charity just yet. Maybe I should have. Uh, but then again, I mean, if you saw my hand, what would I discard, right? A Cyber Dragon being that that good beat stick if your opponent is able to attack over the flip. Uh, so I, I I I think it was an okay play still. Problem is though, is that uh, well, Spirit Reaper is actually a solid choice against the deck. There is uh, Revived King Hades. You know Hades, uh, one of those level 6 synchros that you can only make with like Plague Spreader and another zombie type monster. But as soon as Hades attacks into a phase or, you know, any monster, any effect monster, and of course, that effect monster being destroyed by a battle, it will negate its effect, and it includes flip effects. So Hades is actually really strong against this particular deck if I don't have any form of battle traps, you know, like Sakuretsu or Book of Moon, maybe. Uh, while on the other hand, uh, Reaper in defense position, it should be a game-winning card, but then there is the, what, what is it called, Red Dragon Archfiend? You know, it went like battles, it destroys every monster in defense position of your opponent, right? And here... I can't flip over the Kachi. I'm just far too low and attacking with Didi Warrior Lady into Hades again would just negate Lady's effects and that's that's why I you know took a little more damage. But now um yeah, just a problem that that's dude this doesn't really matter, right? And eventually nah, this is this is too much for me. <laughs> so again number two, and uh this is a rough start. I mean double kale sorcerer is not really the best. Uh, imagine this being magical merchant to hopefully you know mill some cards, but uh, not the case, but Snatch Deal with Zaborg and I sidetacked in Creature Swap because of this. I mean, the, the case of, well, let's say if, you know, Zombie Sworn is not able to flood the, um, I mean, it's like Charge, uh, Solar Recharge, yada, yada, yada. Uh, maybe like a, a simply Normal Summon of Lila or, you know, like, like Stardust or whatever. Then you can just Creature Swap, give Mystic Tomato or whatever. But um, here, definitely not the case. And... The card of safe return is such a broken card. It's banned for a reason. It's a card that, you know, with, with like the claws of once per turn would definitely be good, would be okay. But um, here again, this is not lethal damage, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Hades not uh, negating the Spirit Reaper because again, it's not destroyed by battle. But Red Dragon is a geat, indeed going to take care of the Reaper. And I can make a comeback. The problem is though, is the, the Necro Garden is in the graveyard, you know, banish it and then negate the following attack. So I think I need to, you know, rather than snatch the Goyo and then attacking into an opponent's monster, take control, you know, due to the uh, the fact that Saborg destroys, you know, Chaos was pretty much the, the power crept version of Saborg. But this is not enough, far from being enough. Yeah, I'm just too low on life points and you double kill Sorcerer, not... Um, it, it's a bummer, right? Especially if you're not having too many lights and darks in your graveyard. Well, that is, that's a thing, right? Zombie Sworn is a fast deck. Back then, decks weren't that fast. 
Um, so set up double dark. Lila is indeed getting met by the Book of Moon that strong. I mean, you're kind of preventing your opponent from milling uh, at least three cards and potentially destroying a card, even though the Book of Moon was forced out, you know. I get that graceful, but maybe getting back Book of Moon was a better choice. Then again, there is always the potential heavy storm, right, lurking in the background, if I'm not mistaken, for, you know, zombie swords. And um, this is, I guess, uh, a cautious play. I'm going to keep my mirror force, because again, I mean, the, the deck needs to mill, right? Or, or, yeah, pretty much. You're definitely going to normal summon Lila or Breaker or Lumina for the potential Lila. So I definitely want to keep my torrential tribute here. Um, Zombie Sworn is really low on life points, so I think my chance Gore is already out of the picture, so I should be able to attack for game simply. No Necro Guard, not double checking, but Gore is there, so I can go for game. <laughs> not an OTK by return from a different dimension, but just by raw beat power. Going second this time, and I see my opening hand and a creature swap and uh, Mystic Tomato is decent, but not if your opponent has multiple monsters. You know, creature swap, uh, you pick and your opponent is also able to pick his monster that you know will be swapped um, between both uh, players, right? So I'm just going to attack over the Lumina attack position, I believe setting the Torrential Tribute, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, again, there are the board wipes, there is Mirror Force, there is Torrential, so I'm going to search Sangan, there it is. Um, there are, I don't think there was any target left in the graveyard, so again, I want to prevent my opponent from getting more mills. There is no uh, Plague in the graveyard, so no access to, well, no Tuner at all. But um, I believe I searched Reaper, right? Yes, Set Spirit Reaper, because again, I, I can normal summon Reaper and, and attack, right? But Necro Garna is there, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, Necro Garna also targets, so Reaper will just get destroyed. Yeah, that, that's that's a bummer, right? Otherwise, I, I probably would have gone for it, but I mean, you saw that the spirit, uh, the Plague Spreader was on top of the deck, so I probably would have, would have lost this either way, even though there would have been one less burial from a different dimension, but look at this. If I'm not, not sure when actually burial from a different dimension was limited, or banned not, but, but limited, I think so. Like years ago, it, it was one of this, you know, one of these decks. That, uh, that was the cause. <laughs> the fact that you could do abuse like Mizuki and, and whatever. Uh, one extra duel can prevent spoilers, right? Sometimes. Um, and I do take it, it, the duel doesn't really matter too much, so I'm just going to risk the heavy storm. I think I have to, because return is there. It's not really the most life card early in the game. And, well, you're playing against a much faster deck, so I, I, you know, I want to have it there. Torrential Tribute, but another monster reborn for those extra mills, and that hurts. That really, really hurts. I'm going to lose the Econ here. Yeah, I mean, uh, just yeah, I need to put Lumina in defense position, since Lila, um, you know, needs to be put to defense position in order for its effect to be activated, I think, right? It's popping, it's breaker effect, yeah. Uh, not sure what my set is. Ah, okay, yeah, it's, it's return, it's return. Okay, so I do have Chaos Soul Sorcerer, which is life, right? Book of Moon is decent to interrupt the potential again, Lila or Synchro play, so I should be in an okay position. Gain back the field control with Chaos Soul Sorcerer, followed up by Zaborg, and you know, for 2 4, luckily no Gors, not sure if it's gone. But set the Book of Moon for the interruption, which is again happening now, so that's cool. But the card of safe return, and I was like, oh, okay, but there is no target in the graveyard. Okay, that's cool. I'm still in the duel, but again, the return is, is not going to help out too much. Oh, okay, and Gardner is there. Oh, that, that's such a big deal, right? It's a card that you most of the time just forget it's there, and then your opponent, or then you want to push for game, and your opponent is like, okay, then I'll just banish Necro Gardner from the graveyard, and you know. That, that's the toes for the, earth, the old school days. Uh, so the generic pre-Erata old school uh, Koyo Guardian hits the board. And with card of safe return, yeah, this is not looking too great. Um, Mystic Tomato, is the deck able? Yeah, indeed, Hades can just destroy the Tomato, but I'm just far too low on life. Because again, Mystic Tomato special summons an attack position. It's forced to special summon an attack position. So yeah, I can't hold off the opponent with all of those beat, stick, beat sticks. So it's a bummer. It's um, a three-one, so three points for uh, yeah for zombie swarms. While a chaos return ends up with only one point, but I mean the the deck is I mean both decks, but the chaos return is still there, right? Um, it's cute. <laughs> so many synchros again. This kind of feels like Teladad, right? It's pretty much the same era, if not faster or more powerful than Teladad, but that's how it is. Um, 
so yeah, as I mentioned before, Chaos Return sitting at 4 points, Zombie Sworn sitting at 6 points. Next matchup, we have Baboon Burn, Baburn versus Grand Soil Psychics. I think this should be a good matchup. Two slower decks. I'm looking forward to this one. Um, so again, like always, feel free, uh, yeah, feel free to leave predictions, and the community tab will be open soon for votes. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.